What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Modern Booster Draft. Nope, that's not it. Dominaria Booster Draft here on magic.cup.com. It's not what it, it's not even what it is. What are we taking here, Michael? I like the land thingy. The land thingy? Yeah, the legendary that lets you draw land. Here, right here. Memory to Folly. No. That's a land thingy. Here, island. No. I'm trying to pick the land The creature here, that when you play a land, you draw a card. The creature that lets you draw a card? When you play a land. This lets you put a land card in your hand on the battlefield. That's basically what you're saying, right? No. I don't understand. Talking about Teleria. I heard Tele I heard a Teleria in there. Something like that. You know Tatiova? Mm hmm Alright, I'll take that one. That is a good one. You're not wrong. What are we picking now? Do I gotta pick them all for you? You might. Oh no. Maybe that's how we do. This isn't gonna go good, man. I don't know the set so well. It's not gonna go well. That's what I said. No, you said it's not gonna go good. Just pick just pick a card, man. What about that big four drop? The four fourth kicker. I like the four fourth kicker. You know what I like a little bit better though? Hmm. I think I might like this better. It only fights if it's legendary? No, it only gets a counter if it's legendary, but they always fight. Hmm. That's pretty decent. Or this guy. Two two makes a one one. Who cares about that guy? I think it's ancient anus. Okay. Yeah, all right. We did it. Congratulations, Michael. You won the draft. <laughs> Ooh. What are we taking here, boys? You can pick one, man. I don't know. These all look like they suck. You don't think Rona sucks? You want to be three colors? Man, you like being three colors. Every day I want to be three colors. Plus, you're green, man. Base green, bro taking this not even close <laughs> I don't know what your problem is flying cat probably not the pick look at Mike who needs dudes I don't even know what that means Mike, how have your life choices been? Frank, worry, I worry about your life choices all the time. Like what? Oh, God, name one. I don't make very many choices, so... There you go, that's the one right there. Mm. I hope this Harrowland Harbor comes back, because it's actually really good for our deck, but I'm going to take this Sap Herd. You Sap Herd? This is Sap Herd, with the news. <laughs> that was good, I like that. Sap Herd. I just realized I'm not holding my microphone. <laughs> That was good. I'm a fan. I like Stronghold Confessor, kind of. Yeah, Stronghold Confessor. What does it do? What does it do? Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make fun of you. <laughs> what does that card do? Yeah, it's not bad. It's good, man. It's good. Feral Abomination? Jousting Lance? No. Probably Bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Yeah, this card's definitely not bad. This card is actually great. You say what? A bomb? Mm hmm. Oh, man. Final Party was actually sweet in the last game. Oh, what if we take this and just put all the legendary creatures in our graveyard? How are we going to do that? You just throw them in the trash can. You let them die. You let them die. Yeah, it's probably Final Parting, but I'm not thrilled about it. Like search for a card or something? What about the... You search uh, for two cards. You have one in the graveyard, one in your hand. What about the Chainer's Torment? This card's terrible. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. It could actually be Relic Runner. I think the final parting. Sulfur Falls, five color. Here we come. 
Please, no. Funny how your first pick can make your first rare in pack one be utterly broken. What was our first rare in pack one? Is it worm? I like a good worm. I bet you do. I'm not a big Windgrace Acolyte fan. I'll take the Lance here. Oh, uh, actually, maybe it's Memorial of Folly. Being able to just get a dude back is pretty good. I think the Lance is poop. You think the Lance is poop? Lance has actually been fine. I don't think it's great, but I think it's it's fine. Short Sword is actually pretty good, though. I'll take the Short Sword over another Stronghold Confessor. We might not be blue here. I might be splashing the blue. Yeah, I'm going to take this because I don't think the other two cards are any good. Is that all, eh? I don't know what that means. You heard me. I did hear you. But that doesn't mean I know what you mean. Is that Ollie? Is that Ollie? Yeah, I'm not thrilled with how this looks yet, but... Oh, the Mending of Dominaria. It did not table, you were correct. Good lord, you missed the five color good stuff that was pure gas earlier. Frank can tell you more. Hmm. Oh, Andy. that'll be going up on the YouTube eventually. Oh, Steel Leaf Champion. Did we just take this guy and hope for, like, uh, Llanowar Elves? It's possible, but you have to basically commit to all green. No, it ain't. Don't be a baby. Look, we can't be playing three colors and get a triple green guy. Yes, you can. I play Chain Whirler in three color decks. You're a man, man. Chain Whirler? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Also, if a Wild Onslaught or Memorial or Crows and Druid come back, I'll be okay. Oh, Marwin? Young yeah. Bay. What? Young Bay. This is an elf? Oh, it is an elf. Also, Sapperling Migration. I think it's Marwin. I think we can get more Sapperling Migrations. If you think triple green can be tough in a three-color deck, we haven't drafted before, have we? <laughs> I don't think we have enough elves to make this very good. I think I'm just going to take the migration here. But we could take elves highly. Well, there's not that many elves, though. Not with that attitude. Yes, that's correct. She also does ramp us to five, which is not bad. I'm going to take Migration. I think Migration's stronger. God, we get Lich's Mastery in every draft. Here comes another Migration. I think Lich's Mastery isn't good. <laughs> Read it. Can't lose the game. Whenever you like gain life, you draw that many cards. Okay. It's like good so far. Lose life for each one life you lost. Exile permit you control. Oh, no. You lose the game? Okay. Well. Really escalated quickly toward the end there. Yeah, the first, the first couple lines are great. If that was the only couple lines, it'd be real good. I think it's this guy. I just want to go Sapperling Migrate. Oh, God, another Torment. I was really hoping for a different one, but I guess not. Would you say it's tormenting you? It is. It's tormenting me a little bit. That was good. How many, how many heroic things do we have here? That's my question. I don't know. I don't know, Dad. Or Historic. Did I say Heroic? I don't know what I said. One, two, three. Could just be Wind Grace Acolyte. I really don't like milling myself, though, but... Dumbasses Mastery. That's not very... Uh... I it lacks a little elegance, I'm going to be honest with you. Do we just keep our Navigator's Compass decks rolling and just play play a compass in here? 
I mean, I think this deck needs a compass. I don't think yet. I think we can we can wait. We can hold off. Greed. What? Greed. I don't think that's greed. So greed. I am so greed. Did you say great? I said greed. Hmm. Thought you said thought you said great. No. That's a lie. Oh, here we go. Nailed it. Oh my it. god. Yeah, we're just gonna take the row from the ashes. This card's exactly where we want. What does that do? Searches for a land, it puts it in play untapped. If you kick it, it searches for two lands. Okay. It's very good, Mitchell. I'm going to take the Divest here. How many Chainer's Torments can we have? Could add three. That's a lot. Hi, <laughs> do you have codes for Arena? No, no, I do not. Good lord. Um... No. No. Take the indestructible guy. The hexproof guy? N no, the indestructible guy. You know, I want this turtle. I don't want this stupid idiot. This guy's stupid. You're stupid. Wow. <laughs> what happened, man? Oh, boy. Man, that's ambitious. Grow from the ashes has a character cost, Michael. Can you can you kick can you milk grow from the ashes? Sure. Interesting. You can milk a tree. Brian, what's going on, buddy? You can milk a tree? Mm -hmm. It makes syrup. You mean sap? Syrup. Sap syrup? Syrup. Hmm. I think we're done here. Were we ever beginning? We've only just begun to live. I don't like how this deck is looking, but I'll deal with it. Uh, what? If you can dodge a wrench, you can milk a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Look, came back, you stupid dummy. Now yeah, we can I'm play Raph. Stupid dummy. This is 100% a four-color deck, just to be clear. Oh, call the cavalry? I mean, it, it literally is now. Boy, is it. And we got a triple green card. How goes the draft? Oops, you guys answered it. Wow. I actually think I feel like I feel like I answered that at the exact moment you probably asked. I don't know. I'll be honest. This compass, this raft, and this call the cavalry made me feel a lot better about it, which is pretty weird, I think. Because all it is, because compass is terrible and adding white cards is probably not what you want to do to your three color deck. But you're doing it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's a better one. That is a better one. If only this was a better card. That we could open. Is it just Eldest, Eldest Reborn? I think so. I think so too. I hope this Grow comes back, or this Vicious Offering, or this Blink. Or this Blessed Light. Actually, there's a ton of cards in this pack that I hope come back. Another Rona? Another Animus? Another... I guess that's all. Another Ranimus? I have a Ranimus. Can you milk me, Michael? No. I'm not going to milk you, okay? I think we just want, might want this Eviscerate, actually. This seems good. Oh, I have been hearing about people getting their cards. So, yeah, they definitely have... Yeah, I think it's Eviscerate. I really like this guy, this guy, and this guy. But Eviscerate does this better. We already have a Rona. I think we could we could do some removal here. Like, even if you play this guy on turn 5, it's still a 5-4 for 5, let's say. With an ability, with a plus ability. Look, we can have our second our second Marwin. Marwin Bless. You mean Papa Bless? No. Okay, that's fair. But again, we have no other... Uh, we have no other elves. Like, literal one elf in our deck, which is this guy. So this is basically just a three mana ramp for one. I think it might be Triumph. But we also have double sapling mutation. I actually don't know. Triumph is good with Rona because she does let us uh, exile it and replay it. Could also just be called the Calvary. 
Yeah, I actually think it is Call. I think Call is super strong in this format. Ooh. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good one. Why not more Confessors? I think Call is better than Confessor. Yeah, that's where we want to be. I would never take a Lance over a, over a Shauna when we have double Sapperling Migration, double Call to Cavalry in our deck. And a Yavimaya Sap Herd. That just seems crazy. Oh, man. Big Daddy Thorn. We're getting the hits. I also like that Omnivore. Hopefully we can get another one of those, but if we don't, I think Thorn Elemental is really strong in this format. Why not, too? I, this is a card I would actually play two of because the first one they can kill and then the second one they're like, oh darn, I can't kill that as easily. Hey, Lingering came back. No, this is not the same pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is, yeah, this is not it yet. I think it's probably this guy. This guy's probably better than Abomination, right? Especially with the number of Historic cards we have in our deck. What does that guy do? Uh, whenever you cast a Historic spell, you may pay black if you do return it from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty good. Stay green, white, drop the excess. Yeah, that's never happening. Let's look at what our deck looks like if we do that. Like, that's, that's extremely ridiculous to say. Yeah, so we'll cut these 10 cards and we'll have a 15 card deck. Seems good. Yeah, you can see why that's not a realistic thing to suggest. Lucky MH, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Hybrid. I'm not going to... I think we just take Academy Journey Mage and feel grateful for the... Uh... We could cut the blue here. Our blue... Three of our blue cards are some of the best cards we have, and we have no... Uh, there's no downside to adding blue when we have Grow and Navigator's Compass. Like, these are three of the best cards in our deck. And there's just no downside to just playing blue. And we just got a Journey Mage, so... Seems good. Mage is 100% better than Trapper. I guess... I'd, I'll just take the Syncopate. I like having a Syncopate. I'll take the Snapper. Snapper Keeper? Adam and Will is fine... We already have a million creatures. This bird could be good. None of the good stuff we wanted came back, but our deck looks pretty sweet, so. Navigator's Compass is actually not worse than Island. We've, we've done consistently well with Navigator's Compass. Navigator's Compass is extremely undervalued when you want to play a deck like this. Navigator's Compass lets us play this. It lets us play all of our white cards with just one card. It lets us play all the blue cards with just one card. Take out the final parting. I don't think Short Sword makes the cut anymore. Two other cuts. Probably Abomination. Actually, Abomination might be better than Primordial Worm. 5-5 five, five Death Touch seems better than 7-6. Seven, we already have a 7-7. Seven, seven. One mo. Hmm. I think it's actually just Wing Grace Acolyte. This card just doesn't impress me. I don't think we need 18 lands with a compass. And we also have Grow from the Ashes. Like, we don't have a... Our deck isn't super mana intensive. Well, the problem is I've been enjoying playing these four, these three and four color decks, and Compass has actually been amazing in them. I mean, I do like the flying on Wind Grace Acolyte, but this isn't like a heavy flying format. We also do already have Wrath. We have Stronghold Confessor for like some evasion. Like, I don't think we really need Wind Grace Acolyte at five. All right, let's sort by color. All right, so seven. 
We only have three, four blue cards. I think we can actually go one blue. Maybe not. I think this is actually fine. This is six white sources with the uh, grow and compass. Yeah, this seems good. This deck seems sweet. I agree. I'm not a big fan of the mill flyer. It's just an arcane. It's just an Aven. Aven. It's just a white three two flyer for four, but for one more mana, and you get three life, but you mill yourself three. Yeah, this hand seems fine. Look, we can do everything. Except for Almost. this guy. But you just wait. I'm waiting. <laughs> what if we draw and uh what if we draw steel steel leaf overseer the whatever i don't know what the card is called the five the five four and mm -hmm. uh forest in that order or that would be order. good i'd be okay with it mm-hmm mm -hmm. All right, I'm trying to keep running out for us in case we do draw it. It's not really wishful thinking. It's actually just playing to your outs, right? Like it's playing, you play in such a way that rewards you for your draws. And those are the kind of small advantages that better players get that, that other players don't. So like if I let off with like planes and then swamp and like turn one, two, and three for no real reason, um, you don't get to do that, right? You don't get to... Like, right now, I can still play anything in my hand on turn three, whether it's this guy or this guy. But I'm setting myself up to draw the best possible card. So. They're really taking their time. Yeah, they're they're thinking about my my turn two play. <coughs> We've only just begun. To wait. Whenever my opponent takes this long, I just assume they're they're like, oh, hold on, let me open your stream. That's like my default. I assume they're pooping. So I want to get my hand shield ready. It's a good hand. Yeah. Billy, only you can answer that question. They didn't even attack us? Oh, so close. It was the wrong green big monster. Do you think Mike's bite force is stronger than the average man with all that ice he's chewed in the past? I think it definitely uh, strengthens his jaw. You have a strong chin. Your mother has a strong chin. Does she? I don't know, man. Why is why does it fall on me to figure out your mother's chin structure? Because you brought it up. Look, man, don't blame me for your for your life's problems, okay? It's not my problem. Yeah, well, that's what you would say. That's what I did say. Whatever, man. I'm done with you. Came back after the shield went up. Coincidence? I yeah, no, you know, probably it might be. Don't believe me, just watch. All right, well, we're not really doing anything exciting here. I'm just going to play Crossan Druid because I think having the Tooth Around board is more relevant than having 10 life in three turns if we drew 
three lands. Unless they're like baiting us for a Phyrexian scriptures here. Woo! Mike actually had his teeth replaced with small replicas of Captain America's vibranium shield. Each of them can withstand the same amount of pressure felt at the center of a neutron star. Wow! That is amazing! Oh, a Josu Vess. Hmm. Give me a blue land. It's a black land. I, I accept because it's one step closer to this guy. I guess that really puts the kibosh on our attacks, huh? Oh, I can wait. I was supposed to get a nice flavored crust pepperoni pizza on account of this marketing campaign that we run on this channel, but I never received my order. Can you look into it? Oh, God. Boy, oh, boy. Oh. One blue land here, and we're in, we're in good shape. Frank and Colin? Who's Colin? I don't even know who that is. You know anyone named Colin? Colin, I know Colin, I know of Colin Farrell, but I wouldn't say we're, I wouldn't say we're friends, you know. There it is. Look who, look who showed up. It's your boy. It's too bad it's not legendary, then it doesn't get the counter. And both these guys kill it. I bet they're going to eviscerate. In 1938, at the height of Nazi Germany, Mike actually used his teeth to dismantle several tanks. Because of his act of heroism, he was awarded the Vibranium Teeth of Honor. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You know what? I'm going to do one of these jobbies. Actually, I'll do one of these jobbies. <clears throat> I bet they're going to run amok here. You got that run amok? If so, good for you. No, no run amok. We just trade a Crow's Android for a Keldon Raider. That's a good deal. Oh, you just got it back. All right. Well, isn't that special? All right. So once we get a blue land, we are good. Sh we are in mm, blue mana. What are you saying to me right now? Blue mana. Can you just trade here. Actually, seems fine. So, the best part about the deck now is outside of Rona, anything we draw we can cast. I guess this is fine. Mmm. Mmm. Double block you will, yes. Alright, I'll just kill you guys. That's a fair trade, right? You're rare for mine. This rare is your rare. This rare is my rare. From rare California to the New York rare lands. This land was rare for you and me. Why do they have five cards in their hands still? Is, they just discarded a fire intervention? Good lord. Good gravy. Why is that a sorcerer, I wonder? Someone has to be. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Someone's got to be a sorcery. No, nah, man. No. No, I'm not going to think about it. Well, just... if you don't think about it, then you'll never know. Even if I think about it, I'll never know, man. Not with that attitude. What is going on, dude? Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Oh, Jesus. What's your favorite Formula One team and why? I don't know no Formula One teams, bro. Do you really not? No. Oh, God. I forgot they had haste. <laughs> Thank goodness that's a mythic, but Eviscerate is a sorcery. Yeah, pretty sure we have died. Yeah, if I remember the haste, I actually would have killed this guy pre-combat. Th by the 3-2, I assume you mean the 3-3. But yes, I agree with you. What is this deck, dude? A good one. The old Garna, Varix, Bladewing, Foil, Karazov, jo Foil, Josu, Vest deck? Did I jump into the sealed queue? Oh, it's got haste again. Alright, we're just done here. This was incredible. What an incredible experience playing against this f absolute monstrosity. Hmm. I want to bring in Syncopate. Mother of God, what just happened? We got Riggy Riggy Wreck. I'm also going to bring in Devest. Liliana Devest. Uh, I did it on the vest. You did it on the vest? No, that's not what I said. I heard. God. That's what I heard. Well, maybe you should take your stupid dumb earphones out. Is that really what you think? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. My stupid dumb earphones out. Mm hmm. This land was made for you and me, Michael. Hmm. Mulliganos, Keeperino. Wow, he's dro literally dropping his cup here. I didn't. I almost did. I did it. So, if we put you on the top, it's good because we have migration. If we put you on the bottom, we can try to live the dream of turn three Steel Leaf Champion. I think you keep it. Really? I don't think so. I don't think she's good with, like, if we just play this on two, I don't think it's great. Hey, she's back. Put one card on the bottom of their library. Well, you have two. It could be the other one. It's not. Yeah, they're just both on the top at the same time. Yeah, that's more likely than... Uh, than the program being glitched and you drawing the same card that you scry to the bottom every single time. Does that happen often? It happens all the time. Hmm. We didn't do it, but we hit every other card, every other color that we have. Also, I'm glad we did, we did ship one to the bottom because uh, having two of those is not ideal. So, you know, like you do. God, I can't believe their deck. Their deck is actually insane. Hey, that's pretty good. That's actually very good. Can you guys imagine if this was an island, like someone said in the chat, and then we just actually had three, two islands here? Man. Talk about... Not good. Talk about Tuesday. No, no one's talking about Tuesday, Michael. Why not? It's one of the best days. Is it? Because it's Chicken Sunday. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Frank, how do I be blue-eyed Tefri Dex and Standard? I'm scared of this new Standard format. Well, Billy, the first thing you do is you put your standard deck down and you pick up your Dragon Ball Z deck or your Pokemon's deck and you just play those instead. Uh, either against your standard opponent or not. That is up to you. That is, uh, that is a choice that you are free to make. 
Also, I agree, Siege Gang might be very good in the standard format. Along with Chain Whirler. Both of those cards seem very, very good. What? Oh, as a 1-1, one, one, huh? But you have three... But... But the three mana. He's holding up something for you. He's holding up nothing. Nothing, I say! What do we care about having double of? I guess it really doesn't matter. White and black. Neither of those guys can even block this guy? Mm-hmm. All right, man. I'm, I'm in. I'm game. <coughs> Every day is Chicken Sunday. Do you have wizards? Are you... What? Couldn't you play this as a 3-3 and double blocked? I have no idea what's happening right now. I can't, I can't get away. Come sail away. Come. All right, so they block. That's a two for one, and then we get to keep a Shauna. That seems fine. All right, so then you're going to sack to trade. Sure. I wish we drew a card that was not the same. So, scry to the bottom. Next card is Shauna. Shuffle our library with growth. Very next turn, draw the other Shauna. Seems about right. I wish I had Frank Karsten in this chat so I could ask him what the odds of that are. Apparently very good. No, I don't think it happening means they're very good. That's I don't think that's how statistics work. No, man. I know all about statistics. Do you? I'll send you a report later. Wow. Well, that's sad. This guy's getting smaller and smaller. The report takes six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks? Well, that's unfortunate. I feel like every game... Magic is a fun game. Why would you wait till the end of my... I don't understand. It's a weird time to do that. Aren't you glad you got that 2-2 two -two though? This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Now I'm just waiting for them to play Varix, Josu, or the other one. Oh my god. This is not even good. Okay, just an instant Gardner with no value. That seems fine. Now they're going to go Varix with haste. Oh, I top deck my Varix. <laughs> Universe is a simulation, just to be clear. Because really, there's no way you don't just play that guy last turn, right? Maybe. I guess it's the same thing, right? I don't know. <laughs> land, 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 land. Well, at least my colors weren't the problem. Boy, weren't they. Oh, we got an Eviscerate. So we go to four. We can kill one of them. And then we, just before drawing, more lands. Wonderful. Perfect. It's everything I've ever wanted. 
I think that match went well. Yeah. Yeah, it, it yeah, it went really well. And by really well, I mean actually terrible. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, it was I yeah, I thought we were just confused. I mean, let's be real, it's hard to beat the Josu Garna Varix Karnazov deck, so, you know, we, it's understandable. I get it. On the draw? I'll keep this. Opt. I would opt to, to not put that card in my deck. <laughs> Make him stop, please. I'll never stop. He, it's true. He will never Ooh. stop. Off to bed, take care, guys. Nice to see you back in action. Xor, when was I? Oh, you mean like all this week? Have a good night, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Second opt. Hmm. Two ops. That was a good draw. Come sail away with me. Huh. Everything's coming up Millhouse at this hand. Four drop, four drop, four drop, though. What do you think our what do you think our turn three play is? Double double two twos? Mike, how long would it take you to chew through a five pound bag of ice? Five minutes. Hey man, don't be chewing ice on here, man. There's only a little chew. That's all it takes for people to be like, alright, I stopped watching. I'm done with your videos now. How long did you say? Five minutes. You had five minutes to choose a five pound bag of ice. Yeah, I can do it. All right, guys. New sub goal. If we hit the goal, Mike's going to choose a five pound bag of ice in I five minutes. I never said that. It's, it was implied. Oh, God. What is this you're doing? You probably hate opt because it's pretty bad. I'm donating to see this. Well, it's, just, it's a sub goal, so you're already you're already good. You're already taken care of. This card's really obnoxious. It's pretty good. I know, bro. Mitchell, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy Avengers. Here are some bits to see Mike eat the ice. There you go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, God. I'm really scared of this stupid idiot. This stupid idiot. I feel like we just raff here and then play, uh, like, Shauna Academy Mage next turn. Or we can just play Feral Abomination. This is the only card I'm scared of. Come sail away with Wrath. Capition, come sail away. If I had any disposable income, you better believe it. would go towards watching a man break his own jaw in water. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that. They kicked that bad boy. They have one card in hand. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. How come Raph Capuchin doesn't have Vigilance? Because it's got everything else. Does he? Oh, we can play this at instant speed. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we can call the Cavalry again, but we only got one white, so... We can't do that yet. One... Two, three, four. Cast with Schnickers. Yeah, 
Yeah, she's on five five here. It's pretty good. All right, give your three guys. We have two cards, two cards, two cards. And actually, Shauna drops to a four four if they use blood flow can blood tallow candle on like Raph. So that's sad. So we're going to block this guy instead. One, two, three, four, six. And I guess we just take eight here. That's pretty bad. Actually, now they get trampled, so good lord. Yeah, just take eight. Like you do against the Song of Fraley's deck. Yes, no no Infinity War spoilers, bros. Bros and broettes. What is that? No, nothing. Hey, can we get more ice chewing, please? First takeaway jazz, and now no ice chewing. Unbelievable. See? They're my people. Oh my god. Why not use the bounce to save a bunch of health? Because I can't cast this at instant speed. It's not her, it's not historic. Unless you meant that turn, in which case, like, yeah, that was actually probably I. God, I'm, I, I had a different plan locked into my head. I mean, I'm definitely bouncing this guy now, but. Oh, all right, sweet. Just a good old draw two. Classic. Followed by a Elfheim Druid. Okay, okay, one, two, three, four. I guess it's just this guy. Makes you a six, six. I wish we could play this as well. You could block with these two and then trade with this guy. That seems pretty bad. If you block with both of these, it's bad. I guess we'll just attack with Wrath, unfortunately. I need a tutor more to see Mike's face do that unspeakable thing. It is kind of funny. Yes, Sean will shrink. That is correct. How you doing over there, man? I'm doing good. You touching your little ankle? Yeah. How's it doing? Pretty good. Yeah, my ankle's pretty good. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. What's a good draw here? Ancient Animus to get rid of this Cloud Reader Sphinx. Eviscerate to get rid of this Cloud Reader Sphinx. My dad. Oh, your dad. Hmm. Oh, your dad. Mike, who is best girl? I don't really know what that means. You know. Ancient Animus is what we're looking for. Forest? Actually, not too bad. Just kidding. Pretty terrible. So, 8-8. Eight, eight. Can't be blocked by these two. 
<laughs> he has a hard time drinking, guys. It's it's don't breathe in water, kids. No one breathes in water. I just did. They're not fish, man. I'm a fish, Greg. Fish man. What's a fish, Greg? <coughs> That's what I am. You're a fish, Greg? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Good for you, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. If you choose to chew water, don't tell me not to breathe it. I don't know what the, I don't know what anything's going on. I don't have any idea what's going on in any of these chats whatsoever. Oh, they're going to pay costs. Because, of course, you have a spell you can cast. I'm a fisherman. Oh. Oh, that's really good. Congratulations. Do you just have a pump spell to kill me? Do you have run amok? You're just going to run amok my guy? Your guy? You're going to run amok somebody? In your... In your weird teamer deck? No blocks. All right, I'll go to three. Radiant Lightning? Your favorite and mine? Not Radiant Lightning. Okay, a Mammoth Spidario. A Mammoth Spider-Man. Deep freeze on my confessor. Weird. A limber phantom. That's not what it's called, but that's fine. Close. You're close. To what? To death. Maybe. I think they were just dead because they have blood tallow candle for this now. That's really sad. Can we alpha and make the dream come true? You make my dreams come true. We oh, got yeah, three blockers. They take six. They go block here, block here, block here. I guess we really have no incentive not to alpha here. We still have five blockers in the back. I don't think we're going to win this game, my friend. Why not? Because we were dead on board. Nah, he's fine. Oh, I didn't know that. Good point. Yeah. I had not considered that. Won't attack three. What's the difference if you just... What's the difference if you switch these? You think I have charge? Sure. I mean, maybe they forget... Here's hoping. Fingers crossed. Forget about your onboard trick. Gonna concede because I doubt you will. Yep, you didn't. All right. Seems good. Oh, boy. Having a good time. Having a good time. I feel like the single page should just be in the main deck, despite our lack of, you know, bluesles. Bluesles? Oh, yeah, we'll keep this all day. Did you just copy me? Did you just repeat what I said, but in, like, a weird kind of, like, uncertain way? No, man, I would never do that. I don't believe you. It's good because I was lying. Wow. I'll never trust you again. Do you understand? I will never trust you again. Oh, I got care, Mitch. God, you're so hostile. That was a good one. I'm just going to play you on turn two because 
I don't think you're the kind of deck that would have an answer for this, and we can attack for three next turn with this, so. OMG Zoro, have a good night, buddy. Take it easy. I'm gonna check my telephone. Let's see what it says. What does it say? Anything good? No. Yeah. Didn't think so. Get wrecked. Oh, they're kicking something. Grow from ashes. More like grow from trashes, am I right? No. I'm right. How are you right? I don't know, man. Genetics? Lifetime of, uh... You know what? Just shut up. <laughs> Call Calvary. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to just play this now. I think we're going to. All right, deal seven. We got lots of things we can do in the future. Wow, if they have Radiant Lightning here, it's just so good. Wow, I don't know what this is. Eight mana, huh? Is it the 4-4 four four that's an 8-8? Eight eight? I have no idea what this is, but I'm afraid of it. Oh, you're just going to gain 10. That's good. That's good. We're all very proud of you. I mean, if you block one of these guys, you take 10. You take the same 10, so. Just build coldish coffee on my chest. Like, there's really no point, unless it's like room temperature coffee. There's really no point that spilling it on your chest is good. I spill on my chest. Oh, it was just right, though. Yay. It was perfect. Because if it is perfect, you're probably just not going to enjoy drinking it. Oh, was this the double op deck? Was this the deck that went opt opt? Maybe. That's weird. I prefer my coffee three days old, actually. Room temperature. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually attack with this and not care. They could go block here, block here, block here, and she gets smaller. Smaller. Hmm. Two cards in their hand, huh? They put one on top. So they drew whatever they got. I guess we can just play this guy. I mean, I want to save her too until we have to actually... So even if they block three guys, she gets to... She's a 4-4. Four, four. They could just go chump, chump, chump. I guess we just... I don't think we're going to throw a bunch of dudes away here. Sure. I don't want to play Tatiova until we can actually draw a land. Until we actually play a land in the same turn. Cast up to no good, huh? Well, you hunted. Oh, Bailop Gorger, huh? Okay, that's good, dude. Is it a land? It is a land. Lingering Phantomus. I don't want you to double block here, so I'll just pass. Sissy needs trample. Oh, man. <clears throat> Not. Oh, yep. That's what we were. That's what we were assuming would happen. First chance. This card's really obnoxious.
Actually, Abomination's pretty good here. Let's play Abomination. You can't handle the Abomination. If you know what I'm saying. No. No, oh, that's too bad, man. Oh, you're just going to bounce my Abomination. Okay. That was rude, but I accept. You actually should have attacked first. I would have probably blocked, and then you could bounce this, and then they would miss the die. I'm just going to take seven if you attack. And then I'm going to come back at you. I guess we have no reason to, like, sandbag lands. I guess we have Rona, so, like... I mean, this guy's a two-for-one at least if he's able to connect. Michael B. Oh, another kick spell. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's see what you're kicking. Kicking chicken. Double gorger. Okay. Well, oh, that is special. This guy. That's so that's no good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven sevens are pretty big, man. You're right. Especially when they got two of them. I like it when you don't actually talk into the mic or sit on the on the screen. Those are both good yeah, features. You heard me. Okay, well. I don't think you know how shotgun mics work. I'm just an arm. I'm just an arm. What's good? What can we draw? Oh my god. Alright, well. I feel like we lost him. It's about 11.30 and he woke up at probably like 5 o'clock today, so he's probably past his prime. Is Mike a skin witch? What's a skin witch? It's like a sandwich made of skin, I would imagine. Oh, God. Yeah. Doesn't sound appetizing at all. Yeah. What up, Chugrind? Yeah, he's the doctor something. <laughs> oh, another kick spell. No, not this time, huh? Okay. I like when, they have three cards. You attack, you think? I don't know, and also they're sitting on this one, two, three, four. They have five guys, so they block one, two, three, four, five. And they take one, two, three, four, five, six. Mike stole my skin follicles, and now I can't leave my house. God, that's terrible. I was literally thinking why they have so many cards. I'm like, you have, still have three cards in hand and this memorial on board. All right, now you got four blockers. God, I would give my left arm for a wild onslaught here. Oh, so you do have a kick spell. All right. Bailoth Gorge number four, number three. That's worse. Is this real life? I'm going to vomit. <laughs> eight mana, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh boy. Garador, it amazes me as well, my friend. It amazes me as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can just replay the three, four. We also, we have 17 minutes, they have 8 minutes, so they've spent 9 extra minutes than we have, which is good times. Damn, boy, he's thick! Boy, that's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. Can they even attack with this, though? Like, we can block, and then we can crack back for a bunch. Yeah, I don't know, man. We also have 10 life in hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can go 9 and then next turn play both of these guys. Yeah, this is just a stall. They have s four less cards in their deck. We have 10 extra minutes on the clock. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So they can't play both Bailoffs this turn. Mm. You know, just gain your 10. Okay. Everybody's having a good time. It's hard to play with gas. So many lines. Yeah. I guess when, you're, when your hand is full of uh, cards that aren't lands. There's a lot more options. I guess I'm just glad we haven't drawn our uh, call the cavalrys before that happened. How about an eviscerate? No? Okay. Well, we tried. I mean, I have multiple pieces of removal in this deck. I just don't know where they are. Probably at the bottom. Oh, that's probably correct. <clears throat> oh, God. All right. Bailoth Gorger. So they have, what do we know? They have Gorger. Uh, the 3-2. And Gorger. And, okay, so they're just going to gain a million life. Sure. Okay. So in your hand is two gorgers and two of anything else. You know what? Sure. Let's get another plains and another swamp. So what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are four lands left in our deck. One of them is a memorial, I believe. Maybe the black one? I don't know which memorial it is. We can attack with 3-3, three, three, then they block with 3-4-8-8. Eight, eight. That seems good. Mm, I'll decline. Can't draw lands if you ramp them out. Yep, there's one. One down. 
Why are they not attacking? I don't think they have purple. Oh, here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. No, they're not attacking. They got just they played this, so now they're gonna they're gonna get plus plus one plus one and uh, you know it's okay, guys. We're in a top deck syncopate, so we'll have an answer to this. Um, hmm. I don't know if that qualifies. Are you implying that doesn't work the way I think it does? Mm-hmm. Okay. Slin Bada. I don't even think we can like if they, when they for, when they were at ten, I could even see Alfing here, but like them being at thirty is kind of a different ball game. What is this oh that was mine. I was like, what is this nine nine underneath this card? Oh, that's my nine nine. Yep. Here comes Gorger number two. Everybody's having a good time. They have five minutes. We have 15 minutes. Sure. <laughs> I mean, every little bit helps, right? I don't think we're dead here, but it's not looking great. Especially because the Vigilance. Like, the Vigilance is the most annoying part. Because it's like, well, I'm just going to throw all my guys at you. So, the mana base has not been a problem, I would say. Um, I would say one of the main... Oh, see, here's the problem. This guy's a 9-9. So, if we block with our 10-10, if we lose one creature... She did. So, I guess we'll block 8-8 eight, eight and presume we don't lose any creatures. Even this one three is attacking? Man, that's aggressive. Alright, so you, you live, you live, you live, you should live. And we can probably toss you in the front here. And we might actually nine plus eight. I think we're actually dead here. So we're taking nine. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 right now. That's annoying. Yeah, there's literally no way we win this game, unfortunately. Because we lose these two guys, and before this guy triggers... She dies. That really sucks. Oh, you're just going to play something in response. Sure, dude. <laughs> All right, 0-2. 0-2. 0-2. Is it worth playing the last round? Sure, why not? High spirits. What can you do, man? All right. Anyway, I before before the draft's even over, I feel like our deck was cool, but it lacked a lot of ways to get through. Uh, we didn't have a lot of evasive creatures. Um, maybe we should have taken Wind Grace, but like even uh, Wind Grace Acolyte that three two. But even so, like it still just gets chumped by a three four flyer. So it's just not a very good card. Just because it has evasion doesn't make it a uh, doesn't mean it would solve the problems we had in this deck. Um, we also just didn't have ways to break through damage. We didn't have any pump spells. So, like, when they play a 7-7, seven, seven, we have a 7-7, seven, seven, we're just trading. We have no real way to, to get through there. We also haven't drawn... We didn't draw Eldest Reborn once yet. We didn't draw Thorn Elemental. I, we weren't able to cast Thorn Elemental. We didn't draw Rona. There's several cards we have and we just didn't draw at all. Rona actually would have been pretty reasonable there. Ancient Animus would have been good at any point, being able to use Shauna to kill their 8-8 and actually get some damage through. But... I 
Either way, we'll play it out. And, uh... Our record before this has been pretty good, so I don't feel too bad about that. We'll keep this hand. My name is Michael. Is it? I don't know, man. Sometimes I think it is. Sometimes I think it is. Dear God. Oh, boy. This is how it starts. Um, I don't actually think casting anything with this does that casting this now does anything. I'd rather just save it. We don't have any real take way, way to take advantage of two tokens in the deck. We don't have like wild onslaught. We don't have anything like that. So oh god, squee with a black blade reforged, please. Oh, wow. I'm glad we saved this. <laughs> Seems good. Also, not really a creature I mind eviscerating. However, Chain Roller is amazing against our sap rolling deck. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to keep that in mind. You know, for the future. Oh, four four mountains is pretty interesting. Mono red or screwed? We'll see. Or Scrooge? Mm-hmm. I don't know what that means. No blocks. Four four, huh? Thick boy. Now he dead boy. Yeah, we'll just get through. Thick boy, now he dead boy. That's how it goes. <coughs> Opponent's a fan, which means they'll probably massacre me. Here, let me make you look real dumb. I want to see if this deck goes 1-2 or 0-3, oh, so... There's stuff to learn there. We're about to find out. I guess we are. Oh, I see. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, it's a little candle. A little candle for your sandal. A little candle for your sandal. Mm -hmm. Michael Bartholomew, 2017. That's plus, what I said, plus one boy. year, 2018. Oh, Pupsky Fritz. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. This is a fair trade. I'll take it. 4-4 four, four for 3-2 and I get to get a little, little gentleman back. Well, that guy's not very scary. Oh boy! 3 life is not only... Not only is 3 life relevant here, that turns on a bunch of these cards. I guess just one of them, but still. I guess we're just going to play Rona here. We don't get to get anything back, but... Uh, if you are interested in what I'm writing, you can check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash franklapore. My shot plays two at a giant modern FNM tomorrow. And I'd like to know your opinion on playing a Tron backed up by Control X or go full face with the Greener. Um, 
I like Tron with a control deck, like one Tron deck, one control deck. That's actually pretty sweet. This is actually unbelievably terrifying, so I'm going to have to kill that thing, unfortunately. If we can draw a plains or a mountain, that'd be great, because then we can actually play this. A plains or an island. All right. Because well. then we can play Raph and then also Ancient Animus, this guy. But no, we just can't do anything but Ancient Animus, unfortunately. Sad days. Any any white land is great. Hey, look at that. Turn turn too late. Oh god, it would have been Animus would have been so good on here. Four four mana we would have killed this guy. Or two mana would have killed this guy, made him a four four. And then we'd still have a four four blocker for this guy. Yep. It's so sad. So I think we're just gonna play Raph at the end of the turn. God, that Black Blade Reforged is also pretty scary. Two lands and they just get to equip it to anybody. At least we have a lot of blockers and it doesn't give... Tramps. Tramps, yeah. Nailed it. Go to seven here. Also, we can get back uh, Crosan Druid at some point with this. Something good. It's going to be a land. Oh, they're just going to do something. Intriguing. Shiv and fire! Wizard's Lightning. Okay. Watch out for my wizard lightning. Hmm. It's not terrible, as long as you don't hit a land, I guess. You'll get caught up in the wizard lightning. Well, guess you have it all sometimes. Mm So this costs four to angle. One, two, three, four. We can get back. One, two, three, four. We can get back Steel Leaf and just play on the same turn. It's actually not terrible. Crossand Druid might be better, but we also need eight mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're two mana away from that. I mean, we're sure we're dead to Goblin Barrage, which isn't uncommon. Oh, and a Swamp. Wow. They're playing a two-color deck. They've had one color up until now. And they've been crushing us. That's unbelievable. 
Are they O2? Is that is that possible? I don't actually know. They also have six mana up now, so they can actually just uh, kill the Steel Leaf at the end of the turn. What is our activated? Four? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's use that, I guess. Probably better just use that ability than to slow roll a, a land. But they're probably just going to kill her, so. But it also lets us activate this, so it does a lot of things. Oh. Well then. It's actually pretty okay. <laughs> okay, well. It's just mono blood tallow candles, I see. Hmm, forest. Well, we're not drawing that. You may cast the non land cards. Sure. Okay. Now you're just. Good draws. Now you're just trolling me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have nine mana. All right, if we can survive a turn, we can gain ten with Crossand Druid next turn, which is pretty good. But then, how do we win? Well, we don't die. Is our first? Our that's the first. The first step to winning is not dying. Hmm. Yeah, think about that. Makes sense. Yeah, I made it up myself. Sometimes you'll get caught up in the... I made it up myself, did you? Did you? Oh, you're just going to kill her in response. Brutal! Don't be anything good. Oh, that was great. Drew it. We might have a turn to play that. But we don't have a land in hand, so I guess I'm not going to... There's no point to play that now. Yeah, it seems a little greedy. Yeah, like there's no reason for it. So This 3-3 three, three with first strike has been so stupid, man. <laughs> Alright, you got your seven mana. Oh. Oh, how many black-red decks do I have to face with this stupid card in them? Oh, the answer is two. At least you can bounce, I guess. Thank goodness. Chains is real. Don't call him Chains like that's his nickname. Chain, chain, chains. What a surprise. So you just put this on or you just start shooting my guys? Seven, four, so what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We take a. Oh, so you can actually equip and then shoot something too. So we take twelve. We go to two. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Crying out loud, dude. So basically, this game, I one hundred percent lost to Chain Whirler because I couldn't get through. 
Black Blade Reforged because it's equipped to here, and Kazarov. Lost the three rares. Hmm. Was every card in their graveyard that we've dealt with uh, was a common or uncommon? Interesting. And you're just going to kill my creature. All right, we're done here. We're done. We are not... Yeah, that's not going to do it. All right. Yeah, we have removal. It's uh, it's all gone now, though. We also didn't really pick up any... Uh, let's take a divest, actually. And a syncopate. We didn't pick up any enchantment or artifact removal, which is pretty unfortunate. I also feel like this... Friggin' turtle is probably just better than lingering. Probably cut that one drop. The vest? No, the other one. Oh, this one? Yeah, I agree. Actually, I was kind of meh on that guy. Actually, I could see us cutting one sapling migration. Okay. Play this guy on three, probably. Oh, we're going to play that. Well, no, we're going to wait. Serious questions don't like can come. I've actually come to enjoy the compass in three and four color decks. So do we play Raph here, or do we try to guarantee the Grow next turn? Or guarantee the Eldest Reborn next turn? Eldest Reborn isn't that good yet, really. Probably wait on it. Really? I mean, I want to make sure if they play a guy, though, we get the best guy, right? Whatever. It's fine. I like waiting until there's actually something to get out of the graveyard. Oh, that's real rude. Also, if we have Raph on board and they don't kill it, we get to play this at instant speed. That's pretty good. One time. That's what we wanted. Did you know that? Oh, I didn't. Oh. Oh. You can actually just wait, right? You may cast historic spells as they hand flash. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Because maybe they put an equipment on that guy. Maybe they put an enchantment on that guy. Maybe they do some kind of crazy shenanigans to that guy. They're called shenanigans. Yeah, I think Compass is a necessary evil in this format. It's it's helped us cast a tremendous amount of spells. Well, I guess we could have waited, but or not waited, and not lost two life, but whatever. I like the option of playing at instant speed. That's actually very good. Now I feel really stupid. They lose nothing. Man. The greed was... I mean, like, it felt like the right play, but that really didn't work out for us. Unfortunately not. That could not have gone worse. We took two because they had a historic spell. And uh, they sacked their guy to kill our guy. I think it's just been one of those drafts, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, 
five. Let's get a second island, second swamp. That was a blowout of the highest caliber, unfortunately. I mean, we do get to get back, like, Cabal Paladin. Warcry Phoenix. When you realize your middle account is cursed, it's time to make a new one. You might not be wrong. I wish I thought that was less true than it is. I would have actually attacked here, because Brona. Yeah, we're not blocking with that. I'll never block with that. One, two, three, four. We have infinite mana, so we can actually exile a card off the top here. Hey, forest. Look at that. Do 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 do. Yeah, totally. You heard me. I did. It just didn't didn't matter. You didn't matter. Dang. Got him. It's cold, man. You're cold. Not at the moment. You're a little chilly. All right, let's see what your one card is. Is it a removal spell? Who knows? Let's find out. Is it a fungal infection? Nobody knows. Did you just misplay? No. No, you didn't. They never do. I got historics for days, though. My deck is so historic. It's like a blast from the past. You remember blast from the past? How dare you. Please. Yeah, all right. So you guys uh, you guys have my word. The next time we draft, we'll go back to a two-color strategy to see how that works out for us. Um, I can take six here. I ain't, I ain't scared. But, um, yeah, tomorrow, Friday, I have to go to the dentist at 2.30, so I'm not sure how streaming is going to go. I'm probably going to kill Rona, because she's been a form of... Oh, I see. That surprises me. Two, three... All right, maybe we win this game. I don't know. What am I having done? Um, I'm getting a... So I had a root canal, and it was never finished, so I have to get it retreated, and I'm getting a temporary crown put on. This doesn't do anything. Probably not. A plane's. What do you got here? Anything good? I couldn't have taken that anyway, so that's A-OK. -okay. Swamp Arena. Uh, I don't know if it's that brutal. I I'm hoping it's not that brutal. Watching YouTube videos for three weeks now and wanted to see live content. Hey, thanks so much, Shinobi. We really appreciate it. What is this? Oh, oh. The other sick equipment. 
That's fantastic. I'm thrilled. Vigilance and trample. Haha. -ha. I'm having a good time. Yeah, what you don't you know is they actually have to go through your eyeball for, for a retreat. I actually didn't know that. That yep. sucks, dude. Right through the eye. Same the regular one. one, they just go through the mouth. That's weird. Yeah, well, this one's a little more delicate, so they gotta go through the eyeball. Oh, that seems like a weird reason to have to do that, but I guess... Well... Oh, old Snapperino. My Snapper has a first name. It's S N A P P E R. My My Snapper has a first name. It's Snapper. That's its first name, Michael. Oh my god. Oh come on. You can't Yuck. target this. Yeah, sure. Are we dead? Good sure Lord. feels like it. It does not feel good. Yeah, we're dead. We can only block two of these. They all have three. So three get through. What a hell of a draw. Yep, that'll do. All right, guys. Oh, three. Not our finest hour, but uh, what Living are you going to do? dream. Yeah, what are you going to do? Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. If you haven't done so, check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash franklaport. If you're looking for written content for me, articles or audio content, I'm going to put that up there as well. So uh, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate the support. Smash those like and subscribe buttons or check out the videos up here and I'll see you next time. Have a good night, guys.